look at these beautiful B flat ribs. Look at that marbling. That's fantastic, right? This is gonna render down and it's gonna make the ultimate juicy beef ribs. But we're not gonna do them in a traditional style, low and slow. We're gonna put them on a rotisserie. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get started. There we go. So of course, the first thing that you always do is start up your barbecue. I'm cheating here a little bit. I'm using a quick start method. So that is how you start up your barbecue within the minute. Now let's start working on our meat. Well, it's actually not much work. We just got four bones here. We got here our silver skin, which we want to keep on in this case. And we also have fat on the outside with a little bit of silver skin. We're not taking that off or leaving that on because it will protect the meat while we put it on our rotisserie. This is not a low and slow session. So we don't want to expose it too much to the heat. We want to protect it from the heat while cooking it inside. So we have four bones and we'll slice in between the bones. Long strokes. There you go. Beautiful. Skewers for our rotisserie. So just take your skewer and try to figure out what the center of the gravity is. I'm just gonna stick it in between the bone and the meat. There we go. That looks about right. That's a beauty. Beautiful. And now all we have to do is place them on the grill. We're gonna start up up high. We have two uh, positions in this rotisserie, one low right below the charcoal and one high. I want to start up high, then finish off low. Really nice. So we can put one on top because we only have three positions that will just let slowly heat up. I just need to play around with our positions, you know. Sometimes you just want to speed it up a little bit, put them in a low position, depending on how hot your charcoal is. But right now, after starting it up, the charcoal is really hot and really fiery. When it's burned down a little bit, we're going to add charcoal again, but we'll do it in a little bit slower manner. Close the bottom vents all the way and just enjoy the show. <laughs> this is such a joy to cook it this way. You get to watch it, you get the like, Look at it, and if you want to, you can even taste it, you know. Mm. Mm. You just need your quick beef fix to just get it. A little bit of salt, that's the right thing to add at this point. Make sure you get plenty of salt on there, because this is a large cut of beef, and it can handle a lot of salt. Can you imagine having this for your Saturday dinner? Just having fun with the boys and the beer, watching the meat rotate. What more could you wish for? We also want to add charcoal at this point, just making sure that the cook keeps going, that's continuous getting a little bit of heat. The meat is starting to tighten up, but still has a long way to go. Now that's good looking beef ribs. These turned out beautiful. Let's get one of them off the grill. Let me check. Now I'm not really checking for the temperature, I'm really checking for if I stick my thermometer in it, you know, is it soft, is it tender? And until then you just keep going, keep going at a low pace and this is perfect. So I'll leave it here on the cutting board, relax a little bit and then we're going to slice into it. I'll wait it for around 10 minutes, but I can't wait any longer. If you have time, just wrap it in tin foil and leave it to sit there for maybe half an hour or so. What I want to do is when I slice into it, or the way I like to do it, is just separate two parts. The parts which you would normally eat as beef ribs. This part, that's the bottom part. And the top part, which basically is the specific part to flat ribs. Now the grain of the meat runs downwards like this. And if we slice with it, you can do that, but you can also slice against the grain. So if we start from the bottom, slice into it. You can see where the skewer has been. These are nice and juicy ribs. Crunchy outside. 
Beautiful. Well, guys, this is absolutely beautiful. And it tastes so good. Mm. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. See you guys next time. Give me a big thumbs up and leave me a comment. And uh, who knows, check out my Instagram if you're on Instagram and Facebook. And uh, see you guys on the next one.